Have you ever wished you could set something up once and have it run automatically every day, week or month without you having to lift a single finger? That is exactly what a recurring flow in Power Automate does. And in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create your first recurring Power Automate flow. Super simple, no tech headaches, no IT degree required. Hey there, I'm Marianne from Thrive Admin Services and welcome to my channel. This is where you come to find your jargon free, practical common sense solutions to using Microsoft 365 more every day. So let's get stuck in. So we are using Power Automate, which is available from our office.com dashboard and from the apps. And this is the Power Automate homepage. What we're going to do is we're going to head over to create here on our sidebar on the left. And that brings us to this window. This is your homepage. Sorry. We'll start with Copilot. We're going to head to create. And from here, we're going to choose this option here. Start from blank and it's a scheduled cloud flow. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is give our flow a name. This is whatever you're going to call it so that you know in your Power Automate dashboard what it's doing. So we're going to, I'm going to call this one daily report reminder. And it's going to start from today. And I'm going to send it at, doop, 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 doop. not at 1am, that would be mad. Let's send it at 11am. And it's going to repeat every, now we can set it to every day, every week, every month, whatever is going to be most appropriate for you. Uh, so I'm going to go with every day. So this flow will run every day and we click create. So basically we've set the occurrence, recurrence, which is our trigger. Power Automate is going to say, yep, we've hit that time mark. Now I need to do the thing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add an action. So what do I want it to do? Do I want it to send me an email? Do I want it to post in Teams? Do I want it to create a task in Planner? I'm going to do send me an email. And we're going to use this option here. It's send an email V2. This is the one you want. And this then, when I add this, now I get to write my email. So let's get rid of that. So I'm going to type my email. Actually, I'm going to make it my team one. Magic.com. And I'm going to pop the e subject in. So the subject might be, this is your daily reminder. And then in here, I can actually write and format a report. So we can say, hi, team. You need to get the daily reports out to A, B, and C. Get cracking. And you might insert a link here. So you can put hyperlinks in. So you might insert a link. It's not letting me do that, which is helpful. Um, so we can, we can add a link. So we can go click here to find the report template. And then we would link here. So you would take, this would be a link from wherever. It could be a OneDrive link. It could be a URL. It could be whatever you need so that people will find that. So that's what I've got. Now, there are some other parameters down here. So we can put who it's coming from. We can CC or BCC people. You can put a standard attachment in. So if you've got a template that you want them to use every day, attach it. Or if you've got a um a calendar or a, a standard sort of guide or an SOP you can link it up here or you can actually physically attach it here this will be the same attachment every time do you want it to be um sensitive do you want to have a different reply to would you like a different priority on it all those sorts of things so that's what we've got so I'm going to save it and that's it We've now created a recurring flow. Now I can test it um, and we can just manually test it because there are no automatic ones to run for this. So I'm going to send it, run the flow. This is now going to, so you can see it took no time at all. And I'm going to jump into my calendar here. And this is the email that just arrived. It came from me. It went to my team email. Hi, team. You need to get the daily reports out. And that would be my hyperlink. How easy is that? Every day that's going to go at whatever time we've set. So we need a trigger, which was the scheduled time. We've got the actions that we want. We've saved and tested it. 
try setting one up for yourself today, maybe a weekly task reminder or a monthly email about end of month processes. Once you get the hang of it, you'll never need to go back to doing all of this manually. Don't forget that if you found this helpful to give the video a thumbs up and don't um, and you can subscribe for more Microsoft 365 tips here on my channel. If you would like bite-sized daily tips just like this to help you work smarter every day, check out my micro magic tips. The link is in the video description.